YTPC how's everyone doing this is the tenth day of rain and rather cool weather for uh, for a May in Switzerland the thermometer says it's approaching 20 but out here it feels like 15 degrees Celsius uh, it's, it's wet there's a, a light wind around so most of my smoking I've been doing uh, in, in my little cellar or in the shed of serenity got a new pipe beautiful Andreas witchy pipe now because the light is variable and uh, the rain may come again I made a little inside video about this to, sh to show it to you here it is hi everybody um, just want to make a very short video here about uh, a new acquisition, a pipe. Um, I looked at this like 20 times on Ricardo, which is a, a eBay type system in Switzerland. And uh, Andreas Witchy, who is a, a pipe maker in Bern, um, one of the few, if you like, artisan pipe makers left in Switzerland. It's not a full time job, but um, he makes quite a few pipes and puts them on Ricardo and I waited too long because after a while he moves those pipes to the shops that he works with. Now this one I'm going to show you here went to uh, a little tobacconist in the town of Merton on the Lake Merton which I've actually been to and um, I contacted uh, Andreas to say where did that pipe go I've decided to buy it I, I was dithering back and forth I should have bought it off, off of Ricardo but anyway went to the tobacconist so I uh, he gave me the, the name of the one that he uh, you know, I sold it to that tobacconist and I I bought it from them for slightly more not not a huge amount more than uh, it was offered in Ricardo anyway I don't have too many um, light stained uh, pipes and as you know I love uh, pipes with green malachite looking stems so without further ado and here we have it and as you see it's got a beautiful bird's eye grain here and flame coming through here and the other side is even even more look at that depends on the light that you catch it with but it's beautiful and then this lovely swirled malachite green stem there's his stamp, always this little star with witchy. Nine millimeter. Put a filter in there already. And uh, pretty well center drilled, pretty well. And uh, also important is that's right down the bottom the hole and he always pre-chars them which I rather like beautiful 
and uh, the diameter it's so he always makes quite large pipes quite heavy pipes you know so um it's about just getting on towards 40 depth and um, this one is about standard 20 i think across yeah just about yes 20 there we are and if i'm measuring my knuckle where it came to yeah it's a maybe a tad over 40 millimeters deep so and and nice heavy pipe with a lot of briar not not a, a giant one he had another giant one which i was tempted to get but i've got already one very large gorgo machiavelli pipe and i thought you know you've only really in your collection got room for one or two really huge pipes so i went for this one you can't have everything uh he was offering that for 150 and i got it at the tobacconist for 160 um b shipping in switzerland is about 10 francs to send this to somebody so not cheap but not too expensive either beautiful beautiful pipe look forward to smoking that and i like these lighter stained uh, pipes for summer i think they they fit for that time of year right So that's my witchy pipe. So that's the pipe, I'm very happy with it. It does a lovely finish to it and the, the fit is always perfect. In it, I've got some Boswell's cupcake. About a year ago I had this in one of my reviews and I sealed it up with parafilm and it's uh, retained the moisture pretty well if you think this has been put away half full uh, in the cellar for a year. Now the cellar humidity is 70 to 80 most times um, in winter it dips a bit below that but um, I find with either parafilm or now plumber's tape in certain tins you can keep it for about that period of time but my goal now is to take these tins that I've I've opened uh, and I've resealed to start using them up because um, once you've opened a tin it kind of best case is good for a year even if you seal it very well and store it in a nice cellar or whatever it, the only way to store tobacco for multiple years to put it in the cellar and, and forget about it and you know come back two three four five ten years later is jars we all know that so all the ones i've kind of um made do with the tin i'm, I'm revisiting now and trying to use them up which will take a while because i've got a number and I smoke maybe two to three bowls a day not that many my lighter is a scripto what they call a starburst scripto Well, for the same reason, I made a little inside video about this um, to tell you how I fixed it up because um, the butane insert didn't work anymore. Um, but anyway, here's that little uh, video I made about the Scripto lighter.
Well, hi everybody. Um, just a short little video insert here about uh, my Scripto lighter. I always wanted one of these lovely Scripto lighters and uh, found one on eBay um, with the case in very good condition. Um, the seller said it sparked all right, but um, you know, there wasn't a picture with a flame. It was sort of about half the price of comparable Scripto lighters. So I was a bit suspect about it, but I thought uh, basically I want it for the look and the case and Scripto, you know. So we'll see. So I ordered it and um, sure enough, there was a problem with this uh, butane tank inside. Um, what fooled me a bit, maybe even the seller, was that this part with the jet and the adjuster was all fine. Um, but there should be a little filler gasket here and this was absolutely missing. Um, it just goes straight into the tank. So this tank was pretty well useless, uh, nothing I could do about it. Um, and you fill it from the top in this particular case. If anybody out there has got one of these tanks, um, or even just this part of it, <laughs> I'd be interested to see if I can fix this up. Um, I looked all over on eBay. I didn't see anybody offering this or a kind of replacement. But before I bought it, I had an idea, which knowing the dimensions of this tank from uh, research that I'd done, that uh, in fact, a Zippo Thin would fit probably inside, I didn't know it for sure. So I put one of my bands on this uh, lighter because of course uh, uh, I've replaced it now with a fuel insert, liquid fuel insert, uh, just using regular liquid uh, lighter fuel. Um, and this solution has actually worked. So this is the uh, Zippo Thin. So these are a little bit narrower than the regular Zippo fuel inserts. I always get the ones with a spark wheel because they are better. There we go. It takes a few sparks, but uh, I just filled it up. So it's freshly fueled and it's working fine, as you see. And all you have to do is, um, it's a little bit hot. Um, there is, a, so this is the regular Zippo thin insert, fuel insert, and it's just got one of those regular um, pads at the bottom. I've actually filled it up with the bacon organic Japanese cotton to make it last a little bit longer. Um, now, when, when the pipe came, as you see, this butane insert is not all the full width. So it had a little uh, metal bracket, if you like. You see a little a metal bent spring here to make sure that this stayed in. So the way you use this is uh, you, you put it in, it's just a bit fiddly when you have to refill because you have to go through this whole malarkey here, making sure this is at the cap end and so is this. And just making sure you keep some tension on that bracket as you push it down and make sure that that gap, if you like, remains there. Now, that gap is uh, not very good for fuel consumption because uh, the vapor will leak out and come, come out here. So, you know, it's not an optimal solution, but it sort of works. This basically will last a week, roughly, about half or 40% as long as my other Zippo 
lighters where I've taken the same measures, but I can't put the rubber grommet to seal the bottom and there will be some leakage here around the edge, which I try to uh, limit with this little rubber band around it. But more or less it lives. There you go. I don't mind to occasionally refill it. It's, a, it's a still an attractive lighter. Um, but as said, if anyone knows where you can get replacements, butane tanks, I would prefer that, of course. So now it works, just use one of those uh, slim model Zippo inserts um, and that's the, the length was, was perfect to fit in here. So it has been rescued as it were. See, the sun just comes out for like 10% of the time, but then it, it goes. And without the sun, you just don't get the appropriate warmth. The good news is if we have a hot summer, um, the water table will be very high, so, you know, there won't be any water shortages or anything like that. I don't know about you, but I sometimes struggle with sleep patterns. And I think it's just the age, you know, 60 plus, you, you sort of suddenly wake up in the middle of the night at three o'clock or one o'clock or something and, you, and you're wide awake and you know if you just lie there and want to try and get back to sleep, um, it won't happen, so I usually go down to our little library room and, and read something or watch whatever's on, on YouTube about pipes or whatever, live chat if somebody's around at that time. And after maybe two hours or so I, I feel sleepy again and I can get back to sleep so I basically sleep in a couple of shifts. I do find melatonin helps very much just a three milligram tablet and um, it's very harmless because melatonin you have in your body anyway and it's shown that we don't have enough in our body when we get older and um, one of those usually you take just three milligrams and within about an hour you sort of feel like you want to go to sleep and and you don't get any sort of uh, side effects or drowsiness or anything like that it's your natural sleep rhythm circadian rhythm hormone in your body so i do find that sometimes is a, is a good solution just uh, an hour before I go to bed and then I will sleep through so what counts for me is actually getting in total about seven hours you know six or seven hours I need and uh, so if I do you know three and then four it's, it's okay if it's in two sections and being retired the emergency solution is to have a nap in the afternoon, not for too long, maybe half an hour or an hour max, max, and um, that sort of let, lets you refresh and catch up. So if you've got tricks of how to make sure you sleep through the night for seven hours, let me know. It's nice to revisit this one actually. 
and you, you just cannot go wrong with anything from Boswell, I must say. You know, pleasant. It's not overly sweet. It's not. Um, you're still getting some of those nuances from the tobacco, but it's absolutely for aromatic lovers. You know, that's for sure. Right. So I'll keep this one not too long, and enjoy my lovely new pipe with a bit more of this. <laughs> Take care everyone, look after yourselves, bye bye.